Am I the asshole? For calling out my sister for not making her wedding accessibility friendly for family. For context, I am a single mom to my daughter Mia. Mia has been disabled since the day she was born and needs wheelchair assistance and constant care whenever she is awake. I absolutely love her to death and it's only been us during this entire journey, so I'm definitely super protective of my little girl. I also have a sister Cassidy who just called me about the logistics plan for her wedding in six months to her fiancé Max. She said the wedding was going to be at a beach near our city, and it will completely be held in the sand basically a 35-person ceremony right by the water followed by a bonfire and barbecue also in the sand. She said she just wanted to let me know before she sent the official invite because of Mia. I truly have never been more shocked and disappointed in my sister. You would think she would at least check in with me before she reserved the beach space because Mia obviously can't come. And now she's only telling me because it's set in stone and there's nothing she can change. I tried explaining how hurtful this is to Mia because Mia loves her auntie, but she'll be absolutely heartbroken not being able to attend the wedding. It's already so difficult raising a child with disabilities without a partner, but when even family is this inconsiderate and cruel, it's truly the worst feeling. Cassidy immediately started deflecting saying her and Max checked to make sure the beach had a sand-friendly wheelchair for me to rent $110 a day, the audacity to ask your guests to be paying just to make it to the event especially when she knows I cannot afford this. Then she said how she will not change the location because her and Max met on this very beach and it has been their dream ever since to get married here after they also got engaged here. When I suggested she pay for the rental, she kept saying how her and Max already had to cut so much out of their budget and plans because they also can't afford much. Like you're already paying for a whole wedding, but can't afford a rental for your family to come? I was talking to some moms of children with disabilities and they all agree that it sounds like Cassidy doesn't even want me there and is using all of this as an excuse. I'm thinking about just telling her that we won't be attending her wedding and supporting a person who's inconsiderate to her own family. So am I the asshole? You're the asshole. Your daughter is not excluded. They checked for a wheelchair option. Your life may revolve around your disabled daughter, but you can't seriously expect your sisters to. She's got her own life to live. You're the asshole. I was talking to some moms of children with disabilities and they all agree that it sounds like Cassidy doesn't even want Mia there. You were talking to people that were already biased, crying face, of course they'd all agree with you. You're the asshole. Your sister's wedding isn't about Mia. It's about your sister and her fiancé. The beach is very meaningful to them and she was kind enough to give you a heads up. Just say you aren't coming instead of throwing a fit because you aren't getting your way. I was talking to some moms of children with disabilities and they all agree that it sounds like Cassidy doesn't even want me there. You're the asshole hello? Did someone order an echo course they agreed but the simple fact is that you can still love someone and not be able to accommodate them. This is the beach where they met and is obviously hugely significant to them. I'm sure if your echo chamber friends could all stump up and help towards the $110 cost. You're the asshole. You would think she would at least check in with me before she reserved the beach space because Mia obviously can't come. No. I don't think any person would base their wedding location on whether their niece could come. But they were thoughtful enough to find out that there was a sand-friendly wheelchair option available but can't afford a rental for your family to come? Goes both ways. Gentle you're the asshole. I have a daughter in a wheelchair and it's really freaking hard to be left out. That being said, please know that sometimes in life you have to accept that you can't do everything and that's just the way it is. Your sister has a right to be married anywhere she wants. Take a step back, breathe deeply and wish them a lovely time. You're the asshole. It's their wedding day. At a place that holds meaning to them not some random place. It is accessible in that there is an option. Your daughter's wheelchair needs are not your sister's fault or responsibility. 
you have six months to figure out $100 so your daughter can attend. This is on you. I understand them not mentioning it until it was set in stone, too, because they knew you'd act like a victim and try to make their wedding about you and your daughter. You're the asshole. It's her wedding. The only family weddings are supposed to be about is the new one being made in the ceremony. It's literally all about her and whoever she's marrying. She made sure there is a wheelchair option there. Sounds pretty damn accessible. Info why on earth would you think your sister's wedding would be centered around your daughter? She even looked into accommodations to make it possible for Mia to attend. She showed consideration. Are you truly upset because your sister didn't get your permission before selecting her wedding venue? That sounds pretty far-fetched. What's actually the issue here? You're the asshole. This is your sister's special occasion, and you're making it about you. You can't expect people to always prioritize you in every situation. They're prioritizing themselves, as they should, because it's their wedding. You're the asshole. Sounds a lot like you try to make yourself and your daughter the center of attention for your whole family. Even on your sister's wedding day. She told you what was happening and gave you ample time make preparations. Even thought about your daughter enough to make sure there was an option for her which is honestly going above and beyond already. Also every wedding is asking your guests to pay with a wedding present, unless you plan to just go out for a night and eat the meal they paid for. You're the asshole for taking this so personally. She's explained that she wants to be married on that beach because that's where she met her husband. If neither of you can afford the rental of a wheelchair then that's unfortunate but that's also not her fault. You have six months to save 110, you can surely save five dollars a week. Her wedding doesn't resolve around you or your daughter. She even made sure there is a sand-friendly wheelchair available for her. Anything else above that is on you. Question. Is it possible to just carry her and have her sit in the chairs or wheelchair or would that be unsafe? Not trying to be rude just wondering. You're the arsehole her wedding, her choices. There's an accessibility option for your child. It's up to you if you want to find a way to take advantage of it or not. You're the asshole. they don't have to plan their wedding with a single guest in mind, they clearly had this plan I'm place for the wedding and inquired about a wheelchair friendly option for her. If that option doesn't work for you then you can choose not to go to the wedding. You're the asshole. this isn't about you or your daughter. It's about your sister and her wedding. Stop throwing a childish fit. Your sister gave you a heads up and gave you options. If you can't afford to go, respectfully decline instead of throwing a tantrum and expecting the world to revolve around your disabled kid. You're the asshole, but I would check around, where I live you can get hold of much cheaper sand-friendly wheelchairs and mats. You do not need a motorized one. You're the asshole. You love your child and that's great. But the wedding isn't about your kid. It's about a couple in love and they can do what they want. It sucks that your daughter may not be able to go but they told you beforehand and gave you an option for her. Just rent the wheelchair and don't give a gift.